we have an English? English, huh? Okay, so we just arrived at the airport. I'm going to Japan. This is actually happening, Kieran. It's just us two. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Then, Kieran, how are you feeling? Uh, uh, Ooh, it's the airport. Hopefully, airport I can go me. to Japan. Kieran's gonna do his uh, luggage waiting thing and his maximum is 30 so hopefully <gasps> oh. okay, we're good. Right. Yeah we low-key we were kind of just like sleeping on like sleeping in the car the whole time we were here. Yes we were So I'm still a bit They had to do something in Fuzzy Like don't know what's happening okay. For me I don't know what you know Like when I slept my head kept going forward. Yeah, no, I saw that. Really? You saw? Oh my god, and then when I woke up, my neck hurt. Because it was too much. Oh, okay. you couldn't give two shits at that. Just a, oh. That's okay, buddy. Hi, so he's checking in right now. I'm gonna be the film maker. So guys, I'm actually leaving this time. Uh, well, in like five ten minutes. And I'm still here. And she's still here. And I've blown Probably. up. I've blown up. Is there a word like that? Blown. Blown. Blown up. Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know. But. I did a nice hairstyle, and then you go sunglasses. Yeah, yeah, it's your vlog now. Oh, sorry. I'm joking. No, come on. Excuse me. One Bye -bye, more thing. Baby. That's so cute. But yeah, um, people. You got this, you won't be lonely. You're gonna be friends. So she's gonna be like, yo guys, hello. If they don't reply you, and you're gonna be like, yo guys, hello. They keep on doing this until they reply you. What? Alright, any last words? You do the outro. No, okay, bye. So, I've just arrived. Well, I am fucking tired as hell. I uh, got about. I think I got about 30 minutes of sleep. So. Uh, literally zero energy to speak or do anything right now. But where's the airport? I haven't gone to the main part yet, I don't think. Yeah, for now, just sort out everything. Hello, guys. So, we've made it to uh, my accommodation. So, I'm, I'm over there. I, I took a little nap. And uh, now I feel a bit better. I'm gonna go to a department store and get some stuff. So yeah, um, gonna try and speak more Japanese. I was gonna say when they started just speaking Japanese to me first, I just, I just didn't know what to say. I said one sentence and then that was it. <laughs> so I forced my ass to speak more Japanese. That's the goal. So guys, right now we are currently at my first. It's a ramen shop. It was six. Oh my! Wait. So it says here. Oh, so I got this one. That's less than five pounds. That's like that's like two pounds for a ramen. I think. That's insane. Several days later. All right. <laughs> We're here. I'm, I'm currently on my way back to campus. No, back to my dormitory. Um, I just had some food. I had kombini food and I bought a bin. So it's pretty successful. Can you say hi? Hello. What? It's a vlogging camera, bro. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's not much to do. It's just O day. O day today. But tomorrow I'm going to have to go on to the main campus. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, see what I can film tomorrow. I kind of forgot to film today, but it's all right. This is enough. I'm currently walking through the... Okay, so this is the campus. Um, so there's an east and west side, and this long ass road is uh, through the campus. Um, honestly, this place is really... 
It's quite peaceful. I was just thinking to do, but it's just nice going on walks. All right, so we just, oh shit. So we just made it to the station and there's a Pokemon Tokyo Banana. Pokemon Tokyo Banana. Uh, it's like, um, it's like Twinkies, basically. So we made it to the Shinkansen and we ran into a bit of trouble with the tickets. Basically you need to buy a non-reserved seat or reserved seat and the actual fare ticket. And some of us only bought the like the seat ticket. Bruh. Uh, so it took a bit of a while, but this is the Shinkansen. And uh, basically most of them are reserved seats. So that's why kind of running to the unreserved parts. People here waiting for the Shinkansen as well. There's nothing really that special about it, I guess. <laughs> it's just a normal train. I'm sure when it gets faster, it'll get better. I kind of forgot to get food, so I'm gonna starve for like the next four hours. But. Okay, so we made it to we made it to Hiroshima. There's been a f baseball game because there's everyone's wearing red baseball jerseys. I'm also planning on going to a baseball game eventually. The merch looks sick here, so. We're going to the hotel now. I kind of want food first though. So we might go combini and get a snack. We've just reached the Hiroshima Hotel. This place is sick. We have, is this the, oh this is the toilet. Yeah. And then this is the mirror. This is the twin room. There's double room in the other room, but this is, this is so nice. Yeah. All right. So, I've just woken up. I don't know my, you can see my hair is a mess. Also, I kind of realized my battery is running out below. I think I forgot my charge. But anyway, I'm planning on going to um, the, I forgot the name already. It's an underwater shrine near Hiroshima, basically. We're on our way to the train to get a ferry right now. All right guys, so, so right now, we're, uh, we're at Miyamijima, Miyamijima, Miyajima, something like that. And we're about to take the ferry. This is what the boat looks like. So I don't drop my my pocket too, but holy shit. We've just made <laughs> we've just made it to uh Miyajima, Miyajima. Um, the views are so if you see that oh, you can see that orange thing. That's the underwater shrine. All right, so I've arrived on the island. This place looks amazing, honestly. Look at that. There's also the Lawson looks, right? Goddamn. Oh, there's a deer. Shit. So they got just deers chilling here. And on top of that, here is the the underwater shrine. We're currently in a, uh, a temple. I don't know the name of this, but uh, it was only one dollar. So, oh my god, it's like a massive reddish orange temple. There's actually a line leading up to the famous spot to take pictures. Alright, so we made it out of the temple. Uh, temple's here by the way. It's quite long actually, so it was honestly it was the whole trip was worth it. Is this a temple? No, I don't know. Mini little shrine. I don't know what it is. But basically the architecture is just so nice. It's so unique. Um, you can also ride on these cars. We're on our way back now to Hiroshima. We've spent a couple of hours here. Now we're just we're, we're gonna go to the Peace Museum, but before that we wanna get some food, so that's why we're going earlier. Here. The view is honestly insane. I probably will not come here again ever again. So it's just a nice one time thing. <gasps> well, look how cute this is. So I can't get any Suica cards in Tokyo because they're all, well, out. So I got this in Hiroshima. They only sell it like in the West, I think. I just wanted to show this. It's a cool purchase. Alright, so I just finished my basically lunch. Um, and look at this. So this is the place we went to. Basically, they have manga that you can read. All of that. I read like a bit of Naruto. 
Je pète ma bière, ma loubouloule. We're currently heading to the Peace Museum now. Probably by bus, so yeah. see you there. All right, we're here in Peace Museum. Uh, oh my God, wait, it's, okay, here's the entrance. And if you can see all the way there, that is the, apparently that's the exact place where the bomb got dropped on. Well, not on, like right above. That's why it's like one of the most intact buildings in Hiroshima. So, I just finished the tour on the Peace Museum. It was, there's a lot of information, but it was very interesting. Uh, it's quite a lot of explicit stuff. We're going to see the, um, the dome. Basically, this is 600 meters above this, is where the bomb was actually dropped. You can see that there. Yeah, this is the it's the dome. This place is actually really nice. This whole like this whole museum and like everything that leads up to it is just really aesthetic. Yeah. Now, now make your videos. All right. Good morning, guys. Basically, there are some people that want to go to this cat island. Um, I was gonna go, but it was like a hundred pounds to go for like an hour. It's not worth it for me. Uh, I'm gonna save the money for something else. So basically, I'm gonna go to Hiroshima Castle and the stadium. I want to get a football jersey, or oh, football jersey, a baseball jersey, because apparently uh, it's called the Cops, Hiroshima Cops. Apparently, they're quite popular here. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going alone. This is a solo trip now. I'll see what I can film. My, my pocket tube ran out of battery, I think I forgot my charger. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you there. Well, so basically, I came to the baseball stadium because I wanted to get some merch, which I got. On top of that, there's a match going on. They basically said that I can't get into the merch store because I didn't have a ticket. So I asked them how much the tickets were. They were only like 2,000, which is uh, around 10 pounds, and I managed to get in. So, and also Cops is apparently like a pretty decent baseball team. So, yeah. I'll uh, try and film a bit of the game as well. Yeah. So the game just ended, and unfortunately we lost, but uh, I had fun, this is my first baseball game. I'm not a fan of the cops, not sure, but yeah. Alright, so I've uh, just got off. I'm heading to Hiroshima Castle now. I couldn't really speak too much. It was quite loud uh, in the stadium, but now I can say. So basically, I was only there to buy a jersey, but there was a game, and I couldn't get in if I didn't buy a ticket. I was like, oh, I might as well just buy a ticket now, because uh, well, I wanted to watch a baseball game anyways. So I got quite lucky. I got there, got the merch, sat down, and I asked this guy for a uh, picture. Um, it was Japanese too, by the way. Uh, we started speaking a bit. Uh, he had four other friends, and it was quite chill. They were very, they were like very into the sport. I fast forward a couple of innings in. Um, two of them, he, two of them took a break, and they came back, tapped my shoulder, and gave me this jersey. They were like presento, and gave me this jersey. And they gave me this. I don't know if you can see. This is like horn thing, where you tap it to make noise. It came out of. Nowhere. Also, I was just sitting in the sun, basically for I think four hours. The game was like four hours, so went out on our way to Hiroshima Castle. So I'll try and get a couple of clips in there. But unfortunately, it's closed because the game was a bit too long. But it's alright. I found it very worth. So yeah. I can't be your love. Look is to feel for. Look at this. Um, 
So this is basically, this is like a thrift shop, right? This is it. Prices look bad. But basically, there is no one in here. They have enough confidence in other people to just leave it to them. Holy shit. Yeah, this is insane. Oh my god. You can never find these thrift shops in the UK. to the uh, Shinkansen for Himeji Castle. We were late to wake up a bit, so we had to run and get the bus. We managed to get on the, the train. But uh, yeah, haven't had breakfast either. So feeling a bit peckish, but I think that should be all right. Our main priority was just to get on the train first. We didn't really care about whereabouts on the train. So yeah. So we made it to Himeji Castle. Well, actually, not yet. It's quite far away. <laughs> it's quite far. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's actually quite far away. It's like another 20 minute walk or something, probably. So, yeah. I don't know. Castle is over there. Actually, the surroundings are really nice. So, here we are, like in front of the castle. It's still quite far away, but uh, it's the fake one. We're now in the garden part of the castle. This is the castle. The main part is over there, obviously, but garden. No, this isn't even the garden. This is like a side entrance, like a long little uh, little pathway. That's still nice. We made it finally. The castle is very white. Also, very small entrance. Touring the castle and uh, look at the VR side. Holy shit! We're in Kobe. I'm still waiting on getting Kobe beef. I'm a bit hungry, but uh, right now we're going to Chinatown. Uh, this guy, this guy wanted to go to Chinatown, but uh, yeah. Hi guys. So I'm editing the video right now, and I kind of realized I didn't give a proper outro. Yeah. This is, my vlog's gonna be very random, uh, it's just whenever I have stuff to do. Unfortunately, I've lost like, uni starting soon, so I don't think I can do too much. But yeah, for now, thank you guys for watching so much. This is honestly just for my friends, but if you are a random person on the internet and enjoyed the video, give it a like, maybe subscribe as well. So I promise my vlogs will be slightly more interesting next time just this one i had like zero energy in i i didn't know how to start this is my first ever vlog so hopefully it's it's all right yeah so bye bye see you in the next video if I could be by yourself.